healing. Tone the hamstrings and quads. Tip of tail. Down, really spread your back. And then come up and over, but the chin out. First phase, chin out. So it's like a swan dive. And when you run out of breath, then you look to the tip of your nose and curl. And then inhaling, move back pubic bone and coccyx so pelvic floor stays awake. And then release your palate back and up through the crown. Look to the tip of your nose. Lift the head and inhale, reach back up into the sky. Spread the shoulder blades like cobra hoods in the back. And then swim right up the midline by releasing the palate. Good. And again, so inhaling, spread the wings of your kidneys, which is the back of the diaphragm, all the way maximum. And then it's as smooth as silk. Chin out. Don't look at where you're going. And at the very end, you look at your nose and you contract the abdomen and pelvic floor. And then lift the head, inhaling, but move the pubic bone further back and tip of tail. And then relaxing your palate, exhale, look to your nose. Lift the head and inhale, reach back into sky, but go smooth and slow so you can meditate on the patterns of pelvic floor and feet. And then releasing the soft palate up the chimney. Heart stays open through the exhale. And then a thousand more times. Inhaling. Coccyx heavy like gold. And then, ah. Line from middle of heart through crown, open. At the very end, contract the abdomen and the pelvic floor, PC muscle. Inhale, lift the head, but keep the pelvic floor toned. And then completely releasing the palate, exhale, squeeze in. Lift the head and inhale, reach back up into sky. And then swim. couple more times. So inhale. Open the great wings of the breath. Skin of lower back extra wide. Up and over exhaling. The heart open just like the sun. And at the end of the exhale contract abdomen and PC muscle, pupil coccygeus. And then inhale, lift the head, but see if you can keep PC muscle toned. And then releasing palate, lengthen through crown, and at the very end, the curl, the squeeze. Lift the head, and inhale, reach into sky, very smooth and slow. And then swim home. It's just like you go, ah. And all that stuff just goes up the chimney. We'll do one more, but I s footnote. Uh, PC muscle, everybody knows, okay. PC, P for pubic bone, C for coccyx. It's the main strap front to back and comes in left and right half of pelvic floor, the Kegel muscle. At the very end of the exhale, particularly in that second position, if you contract the abdomen, that muscle will contract too. Then, when you inhale, see if you can keep that muscle online. And that'll make the, as well as the pubic bone going back, it'll keep the coccyx going back too. And the middle, the middle of that muscle is called the mula, or the root. Okay. So let's do another one and see what happens. So inhaling, firm legs, the breath spreads the wings of kidneys. And then, ah, Radiant heart shines through top of head and then squeeze and curl, squeeze, curl. And then number three, trini, wrap the shoulders wide, move coccyx and pubic bone way back and then completely relax the midline of your palate as you exhale. Lift the head and inhale, 
reach into the sky, spreading lower back wings, kidney wings, and then relaxing the mouth and palate back up through crown, equal standing, samastitihi. Very nice, good. So we'll extend the pattern further. Before we go any further, Jen Peters is over here, raising her hand even higher than that. And she's, she's assisting, so she comes around and adjusts you. She's supposed to be doing that, she's, just so you know. And Okay, now you can get to work. <laughs> so we're going to extend this pattern into a deconstructed sun salutation. Yeah, and we can do this all together. So inhaling, open the kidney wings, spin the edges of those wings, which become the arms, and then second position, and lift the tip of nose. Inhale, Shoulders wide, and then step back, exhaling. Lie on your belly, and then crawl up onto your elbows, inhaling. And be sure to roll the shoulders back and down so that when you pull with the arms to pull the spine forward, the chest can go forward. So the area of the heart floats up and you're in traction. So the lower back is in traction. Pubic bone is in place on the floor. And if you make your eyes steady, maybe at a point three or four feet in front of you on the floor, very steady, soft eyes, we get back to our basic breathing. So when you inhale, you want to meditate on the residue of the exhale. When you exhale, you meditate on the residue of the inhale. So, or in other words, when you inhale, imagine that your tail, the coccyx, is flowing into the PC muscle, and the lower back is spreading. And then as you exhale, you keep the heart open. And that's done by keeping the tongue silent and the palate empty. So the base of any yoga posture is the pelvic floor, the muladhara chakra. Good. And now, at the top of the next inhale, Spread your elbows out so your kidney wings are exaggerated, as if they were real. And then exhaling, as you come down, place your hands to the sides of the heart, push up onto your knees, pull the toes under, and we're going to go slowly to the downward dog. So wrap the shoulders wide and initially push them down away from the ears. And then move the pubic bone back through space, and this will make the buttocks change rapidly. But as the spheres of the buttocks expand radiantly, the pelvic floor shrinks in between the spheres. The knees lift, but at first the head is behind the arms, so you're looking at a point on the floor between the hands. The groins keep going back and back and back and back, and eventually, we drop the head between the upper arms, but roll the collarbones back and throw the weight forward from the heel of the thumb to the roots of the index and middle fingers. Hmm. And then, if you're flexible, you slowly blow the front of the leg flat up into the back of the leg. Steady the eyes, either at a point on the floor between the feet, or you can look at the navel, which is the orthodox gazing point. Good. <laughs>